in order to in order to, to get to this idea of what's possible and how can you ask more advanced questions, I'm going to first have to talk about this idea of booleans, named after this guy George Boole, who was really big in logic and invented this idea that invented a lot of the ideas that we use now for logic and that run most of our computers. Um, and the idea of booleans is that you can combine simpler things with very simple words, and, or, and not. Those are called the booleans, an and, an or, and a not. And just from your knowledge of English, there's a lot, there's a lot we could do, right? We could spend hours on booleans, and I'm only going to just spend a minute or two on them. The idea is, if I say I want, um, uh, I want Android and HTC, HTC is the brand of a phone, right? Or Android and Google, or Android and, um, Android and smartphone, or Android and PC. I'll only get pages that have both of those terms on them, right? Android and PC, Android and HTC. But if I say Android or PC, I'll get pages that have Android on them, plus pages that have PC on them, plus pages that have both of them on there. Can you see how those are two different questions? One says, I only want pages that have both of these terms. The other one says, I want pages that have either. So I could say Android or Droid. Right? And then I'll get the pages that say Android and the pages that say Droid. And I won't be, I won't, I won't be wondering whether I'm getting the Droid pages as well. Um, there are other ways that Google might actually return the Droid pages if you say Android, but you get the idea. Okay, so we have and, or, and not. If I say and, that means I want a page with both of them on there. And it turns out that that word and is what Google automatically inserts every time you put a space in your search, in your search term. Right? So I say information management. That really means to Google information and management. And it'll take those pages that have information and management and put them first. Now, Google's, you know, Google's very complicated and we could, you know, there's a lot of subtlety to it. So if I put in a phrase where I don't have a, a more obscure phrase than information management, where there are no pages with both of them, it'll turn around and it'll start looking for pages with either of them because it always wants to give you something. Okay, but at any rate, if you type in a regular query and there's a space in it, that's taken to be an and. You can literally put in the word or, and I say information or management, and notice the difference in the search results here. The top one is information and management, and I get back 251 million, small 251 million. And if I say information or management, I get back 11 billion, right? So there's pages with information or management, and they could be all sorts of managements, but this one has, a pa has pages with only information and management on it. So that means it's going to return a whole lot fewer results. OK, and then I can say information with a little dash there. See the circle dash? Information dash management means information but not management. I want pages that say information, but they should not say the word management on them. And that's going to give me fewer results as well, in this case, 7 million. So the fewest results are pages that say information but don't say the word management anywhere on it. OK, got the idea? So that's querying, and that's the, uh, that's the idea of Booleans. Booleans are ands, ors, and nots, and you can use those to make much more specific questions. 